see what uh, we are made of. And finally in sports tonight, the Kenya Rugby Union unveiled their plans as they embark on the World Cup in July 10th of this year. They are optimistic they'll make it to the Games. It's a very good opportunity for us to build into the World Cup. And, um, and, and I think uh, it's been quite a, a, a long time since we prepared, uh, we will have prepared this well. I think the last time we did the Vodacom competition in 2014, uh, Simba's only uh, uh, missed out on goal difference uh, to qualify for the World Cup. So we believe that this is also another uh, great opportunity for us to qualify for the World Cup and transform rugby in this country by that uh, qualification. So thank you. And I think uh, we just need all of you to come and support um, uh, the team, watch the teams, watch the games. Uh, uh, basically partner with the team in any way you can. We hope uh, the results will be positive to our side and uh, learning curve should be above uh, the, the, the medium of uh, understanding from all, all, of our, all of our rugby uh, fraternity. Well, that's sports for tonight on News Hour. But uh, in the coming hour, I'll be speaking to Governor Mandago before I introduce him. Let's take a look at the bold newspaper. Tomorrow's news today, because only the bold speak the truth. Under the headline, Raila's new Mr. Fix-It. By now you know it, the appointment of uh, Rafael Tuju as Azimula Moja, Kenya's Secretary and Executive Director, reflects the former Jubilee Secretary General's political ascendancy and adds to his growing reputation as President Uru Kenyatta and ODM leader Raila Dingas, Mr. Fixit, read all about his appointment straight just barely months, barely two months after he left uh, Jubilee Party as a Secretary General and Jeremiah Kioni took over from him, having been the Secretary General for the last few years. And that's not the only story we're giving prominence on the bold newspaper because KCP Form 1 selection results are out next week and the 2021 candidates will know where they are placed and also right there at the top of the ball newspaper sankara killing ex-president blaze Pompaure has been given a life imprisonment for his killing back in 1987 aside from that why mount kenya might miss out on number two slot find out from the ball newspaper plus a lot of other stories but even as we call it an hour on news hour the 3.3 trillion budget amid empty pockets wall-to-wall -wall coverage for you tomorrow right here on ktn news all day but 2 30 pm we go live to parliament where the traditional cabinet secretary kuriatani will be giving the budget statement all right that's all in the ball newspaper only the ball speak the truth but straight after this in about five minutes governor was in gishu county jackson mandago joins me to speak about several issues remember He's one of the leaders who has been mentioned in that uh, conflict where Raila Odinga's chopper was stoned by youth. We'll be asking him that specific question. And also his mantra, his manner of politics, Usieke kwa roho, weka kwa mapav, mapav, if I'm not wrong, the lungs. When we come back, stay with NewsHour. We'll be back in a few minutes.